So we are recording. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Raz, and today we're going to see how you can get from data to machine learning predictions in under 10 minutes using the Data EQ platform. So first of all, go to the website dataiku.com and sign up for your free trial. Uh, or you can also have an uh, installation of Data in your computer with Get Started and installing the VirtualBox as a second option. Uh, make sure you have the requirements. Install the VirtualBox, then download the DSS image. Just open up your virtual machine, uh, open up DSS, and go to go to this IP address, and you're going to get sent to this page. Uh, you can immediately log in with the credentials that you're given, and this is going to be your first instance of Data Equal. So you can we're going to start with a blank project. Uh, you can click here or here in New Project. Uh, let's get started and call this tutorial. There we go. And we need some data before we get started. So I'm going to use the same data set from the fabulous hands-on machine learning with scikit-learn and TensorFlow. Uh, don't worry about the links. I'm going to put all the links on the description of the video. Uh, this is from the GitHub. I'm just going to go to the data sets, the housing. We're going to take the data from the California housing market in the 1980s. Uh, let's just save it as a CSV. There we go. Perfect, we got the data. We're gonna come back to our platform and we're gonna import our first data sets. That IQ lets you import from Hadoop, SQL, cloud storages. There's so many ways that you can import data into that IQ. Uh, here, we're just gonna do it with the file that we have just obtained. Housing, perfect. There we go, it all looks good. We can have a preview look at it. Fantastic, create. And I, I love this section because uh, that Taiku tries to keep the same format no matter where they obtain the data. And you can always start to do a little bit of analysis here. You just have to select here, analyze, and it's going to give you uh, a histogram, it's going to give you a box plot, it's going to give you some statistics, it's going to tell you like, oh, guess what, there's empty values. If there was any, any errors with the data, it will also give, highlight them in red. Uh, so this is, this is fabulous. Like you can already see how healthy your data is. Another feature I really like, is charts. Uh, charts for all of you that have used uh, Power BI, used for a long, for many years, or Tableau, you're going to feel right at home with this. Uh, you just have to select what kind of uh, graph you want. Uh, I'm going to select a scatter plot and drag and drop. Very simple, very easy. Just drag and drop. Uh, we can see this is like a distorted version of California. Uh, let's add a little bit of color. And we're going to change it to magma. Perfect. So this is the Bay Area over here. So very simple for, for those of you that have used other type of uh, dashboard technologies, this should be uh, very familiar. Uh, and finally, I really want to make a very important point clear. When you're talking about the data, data equal only takes a sample of your data. You can always change how many records you are pulling from your data and the method of the sampling. Uh, just a very important thing to mention here. So we're going to go to the flow. The flow is when you see the overall picture of what is going on with your machine learning model. Right now, we don't have much going on. This is just a very cute little data set that hasn't, uh, hasn't really done much. But we can check the right side hand. And here we have recipes. Uh, we can do recipes from data IQ. Or we can do our own coding recipes. We can use Python, R, SQL, or you can also use your own plugins for however you want to manage your data. Uh, we're going to do a very simple preparation. It's going to ask us what is the input, like what is coming from the left, this is housing, and what is going to be on the right. We're just going to, housing prepared sounds fine. And we're going to start with a little bit of data wrangling. Uh, we're going to add steps over here. The first step, we're just going to uh, get rid of some rows where the cell is empty from total bedrooms. Total bedrooms, perfect. Uh, also, we can see that ocean proximity here is a categorical value. We can also do some dummification of variables. There we go. Unfold on ocean proximity. Perfect. We're going to just tell it, uh, yeah, that sounds perfect. We can also delete columns. So let's say we want to delete a column. Uh, let's say we don't need the ocean proximity one. We already got the dummy variables, uh, as you can see over here. So that's perfect. So we run it. 
we tell it to update the schema. Uh, it's working, job is running. Uh, it's gonna finish in a couple of seconds. And as soon as it's done, we can go back, there we go, job done. We go back to the flow. And now we actually see there's some action going on in our flow diagram. Our housing data set now has some activity, uh, some data wrangling. It is, there's now a different data set called housing prepared. Perfect. So this data set, we're gonna say, you know what, this is perfect. We're gonna uh, split the data. Uh, we're gonna split it into our train data and our test data. Test data, great. And we're gonna say, you know what, we wanna use a random dispatch of data. And we're gonna send over 70% to our training data. Random seed, 42. When you know, you know. That looks good. We run it. Uh, it's just gonna split the data uh, according to the proportions that we just gave them. So it all looks good. A few seconds of this job running. Uh, we can check again the flow of our diagram. And look, our little machine learning diagram is growing by the minute. Uh, we can go now to our training data. And there is no recipe for a machine learning model. To make those, you have to go to the lab. So we're gonna be preparing some stuff. We're gonna click on quick model and it's gonna tell it, well, do you want a prediction? Do you want a clustering? We're gonna go with prediction in this case. And we're gonna select, we wanna know the median house value. Uh, and we're gonna let that IQ help us create the model. We're gonna do some quick prototypes and this is gonna send us to this section. There's a design tab over here that lets you actually do all the uh, feature configuration for the model. Right now, we're not gonna tinker with it, but just so you know, it's all on the left-hand side here. We're gonna just quickly start training the model. And we're gonna say, this is our first model. Uh, just quick, there. there we go. So what is happening right now? Okay, while well, the training is happening, that Taiku has decided that it wants to test two models, a random forest against the rich regression on the training data. Uh, and disclaimer, the thing we're doing right now, it is just a machine learning model so that you can uh, take the plunge, uh, so in, in you know the feeling for the platform. This is just to show you how you can really get uh, this up and running very quickly. Uh, we're, uh, we're just going through this so that you can get a feeling for how you can build your own models. Uh, it's also, we can see that the random force is taking a bit of time. I was doing some grid searching, it's fitting the model. Uh, it already finished with rich regression. Uh, and it's gonna take a couple of seconds. So this tutorial, just to get you guys started, uh, we can see that it is it has decided that the random forest is the winner. It has a better prediction score. Um, Sorry, not prediction score, but it, it is a very, it is a better, it has a higher score than uh, the rich regression. And we can say, we, oh, we can click on the random forest and here we can see the interpretation of this model. Uh, this is very important for explainable AI. Uh, we can see like very different levels of hierarchies. We can check uh, with a scatter plot. We can check the error distribution detail metrics. So it, it gives you a lot of information about what's happening with the model. We're gonna say, you know what? This machine learning, this good little machine learning robot, you did a great job. We're gonna deploy it and we're gonna put it into our flow diagram. And this is now our green section in the, in the flow diagram. Uh, you can see it over here. So our training data to generate our prediction using a random forest. And we're gonna to go to the test data and now we can use the prediction. And the prediction is gonna say, which is the input data set. It is gonna be the test data set. And we're gonna use the prediction model that we just generated in the lab. We're gonna create a new recipe. We're gonna say, you know what, run it. This is all perfect. And we should be good to go. Job is running. So now it's taking only the test data set and it's applying our random forest to that test data set, job succeeded, so that we can get, voila, a prediction. So again, from our normal data set, we did a little bit of data wrangling, then we split the data, we use the training data to train our model, and then we use our test data to make a prediction, and we're gonna get 
a new data set which will actually have a prediction at the end so that's it that was a very quick model uh, if we go back to the dashboard you can see all the things that we have created and this is how you can get started with machine learning hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and i'll keep them coming have a good day